Hi everybody, this is Kefren, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm going to show you uh, small videos on how to boost your FPS in Ant Showdown. Uh, this game, <laughs> this game improved a lot if I compare with the, with the first time that I played in Alpha. Uh, I was struggling to get my 30 FPS. Uh, now I'm getting like 110, 130, depending where I'm at. But I'm still getting some stuttering and drop of FPS, so it's a bit of normal for now, I guess. Uh, the game just released, so I'm hoping that they're gonna release more patches. But still, the optimization is better than before. So before starting the game, I will show you what to do in Windows. Make sure that your famous game mode is at off so game mode really important to put this one at off you want to remove the game bar also and the other one that you want to remove is all those captures so background recording 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 audio all those stuff you want to put those one at off so close this and the other thing that you need to do before launching the game, if you have uh, 16 gig of RAM and less, I mean, I'm using an, a, a nice software called Intelligent Standby List Cleaner. Uh, it's purging your standby list automatically, so it's really small, it doesn't take any resources, and it makes sure that you're not getting some random uh, stuttering when you're playing a game. So really cool uh, software, I will put the link in my video description. Um, the, the guy who did the software made the um, DDU software, so it's not like a random dude, you will not get any virus when you install this. So that's about it. So now let's go inside of the game. So now inside of the game, make sure first of all that you're playing full screen, really important. Don't play borderless or window, you will lose a lot of FPS. Don't really touch the render resolution scale, I'm playing at 100. You can maybe go at 95, but this is more like a last resort thing. You don't want to touch uh, your uh, render resolution scale because the image quality will decrease too much. After that, object quality, uh, this one is not the, it's not very important, it's like 2 FPS for each bracket. So me, I'm playing at medium. Texture quality, same thing, it's pretty much uh, how many VRAM you have on your video card. So I'm playing at I, texturing, filtering, uh, I'm playing at 4X. Uh, those one are not very impactful if you have like a pretty decent uh, GPU. So that's about it. Anti-aliasing, this one is kind of huge. I'm playing at 1X, SMAA. Uh, you don't want to remove the anti-aliasing in this game because a lot of stuff are moving. And uh, yeah, when you don't have any uh, anti-aliasing, all the lines are kind of breaking in the game and you're always like, is it a zombie? Is it like an enemy or whatever? So uh, yeah, just play at 1x. You will gain 3% for each bracket in your FPS. Uh, lighting quality, really important in this game again. It's like 3 to 4% for each bracket. A lot of like trees and stuff like that and you see crazy lighting in the game. So uh, for sure if you have an integrated video card, uh, low-end GPU, put this one at low. Shadow quality also, really important, put this one at low. Uh, shadow quality will give you a lot of FPS, so high to low you can get like 10 to 12% of increase. So really important, this one at low. Um, Post-processing quality, I will talk about the effect later, it's not a huge deal honestly, uh, I saw like 2 to 3 FPS for each bracket, so depending where you are right now, do you get your 60 or not, you can't like definitely change it, but effect quality is more like in your, um, when you're fighting, I saw that uh, sometimes I'm just like, start to shoot people and stuff, and you see, if you're seeing drop in your FPS, you have to definitely lower your effect quality, and you can also remove it if you want. Particle quality is more about your CPU, so if you have a pretty decent uh, CPU, you can go with medium or high, or if you have like a really old computer with like a dual core or stuff like that, go with low. After that, uh, I always remove VSync when I play video games, I unlock my FPS. You don't want depth of field and motion blur, so make sure that you uncheck it. And if you have a still having issue to get your 60, you have two other options here that you can remove. The two-pass scene rendering and the two-pass lighting. It will help you to gain a couple of FPS. So now let's go inside of your config file. So now the config file. So to find a config file, it, uh, it's where you install the game. So for me, it's my G drive, Steam library, Steam apps, common, on showdown, user, profile, and default. Uh, you need to open this one, the attribute one, right click on it. You can use a notepad. Me, I'm using notepad++. I prefer uh, this software. 
So you don't have anything that you can change here. You're seeing your anti-aliasing and a couple of options that you saw inside of the game. So it's not a huge deal. The really important one is the field of view. You can find the field of view here. A lot of people don't like the field of view in this game. So you can't uh, put, put an higher uh, field of view. So that's about it, guys. If you have any questions, just come in the YouTube section, post me your rig, so CPU, GPU, and RAM. I will try to help you the best that I can. And I if I find other solution for this game, for your FPS, I will post it in the, uh, the comment section. Thank you very much, and peace.